What's up, everybody? Mickey Joe back at ya. You guys, check it out. Shepherd's Pie. Menu number 17. This thingy is from uh, 2015. We have a Canadian IMP. Shepherd's Pie. Or Pate Chinois. I had no idea. I had no idea. But that's what it was in French. Learn something new every day, kids. Here we go. Alrighty, yeah, let's get that back in the pocket. Oh, first thing I see, I see a Canadian Mars bar. That's different packaging than you'll find here in the US. Ours are, I don't know, gold? Are they gold? Guys, leave me a note in the comments. I actually don't think I've even paid attention to seeing a Mars bar in a really long time. Let's see what we got in our Shepherd's Pie IMP. We have a spice cake. Nice. That's our dessert. I'm stoked that this isn't uh, wet pack fruit because it seems like every IMP I've ever had has had wet pack fruit. So we got a spice cake. Interesting. Ooh, I was wondering about this. Okay. You guys know how much I love the uh, espresso roast coffee that comes in the Canadian rations. Um, don't got that, but we do got the three in one and I'm a big fan of the three in one, you guys. Stoked about that. All right, let's just let's just get it all out. Whoa! See, that's what happens when I try to get it all out. Stuff falls on the ground. I see both peanut butter and ketchup. That's weird. All right, let's get, let's get in here. We got our beverage bag. Not gonna need it. We have orange sports drink. Whoa! Weird. What? Okay, first off, guys, first off, this pack of ketchup. That, oh boy, that's sketch balls. That is really sketchy. Um, anytime something's all super puffed with air, it's not a good sign. This ketchup is not as bad, but it does sort of have that feel to it. This one's just tight, and I, it's like a balloon. I want to get rid of it. Uh, so weird, though, like I have ketchup. And I have a hamburger bun, and I have peanut butter. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen peanut butter not come with jam before. Uh, that's weird. So that's what we got. We got the pain hamburger. We love the pain hamburger. I wish uh, the U.S. would adopt that thing because it is very nice. Got our white spoon. We got our huge napkin uh, butt ration type deal. Got some smatches over there. And we have our main... Our shepherd's pie. Guys, we got a 245 gram pouch, 270 calories, and we got some beef, water, cornstarch, yada, yada, yada. I don't want to, I really, I don't, I don't care. I don't want to read all that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this all figured out and we'll be right back. Yes, indeed, guys. This is what we've got. I got rid of the one uh, super puffy uh, pack of ketchup. That's weird, but uh, we have our shepherd's pie. We got our spice cake, some drinks, a Mars bar, hamburger bun, peanut butter, and ketchup. So um, I'm having a peanut butter and ketchup sandwich, guys. That's exactly. I mean, I don't. I don't see anything else to do with that. That's weird. Um, this I boiled in the package. Uh, it was it, okay. So this is a little puffy. And I tried to keep it like upright while it was, or not upright, but flat like this while it was boiling. Because if this is shepherd's pie, it should be a layer of stuff with a layer of uh, mashed potatoes on top. Sometimes with cheese, sometimes not. It just depends on how you do your shepherd's pie. Um, so I tried to keep it sort of as flat as possible. Uh, although, you know, I have no idea how it tumbled on its way here. But we're, uh, we're going to open that. We're going to do all this stuff. I want to check out this spice cake. Let's look at the nutritionals on here. It's 65 gram cake. Uh, that's not much. 220 calories though. That's quite a bit. I think our main's got like 270 calories. So this cake is pretty caloric heavy. There actually isn't a whole bunch of stuff in here. Once you get past the uh, peanut butter and ketchup sandwich. I guess that's a Canadian thing. I'm just going to go with it. Um, never heard of it before. Uh, I do have honey. I do. I actually have IMP honey laying around. I have IMP uh, jam for sure. But um, it didn't come in the bag. And I'm not going to use it like that. Alright, there's no oxygen absorber in there. That's kind of weird. Let's check out our spice cake, guys. Ooh, that looks good. Nice. Here we go. 
Ooh, that's nice and dense. Look at that, super moist. Wow. Mmm, it smells chocolatey, but I know it's not. All right, I want to open this up. We we should make our drinks. So okay, let's let's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Long day at work. Couple of beers. Uh, this. I don't know if I've just. I don't know what I'm gonna do about next week, guys. I may film a ration and uh, bring my laptop to uh, a different state with me and upload when I have my surgery done. We got our Nescafe three in one. Cause next week I will be out of town. So I could just film another one tonight, guys. Check it out. We got this Protonix mug. Protonix was a drug from a, I don't know, they still make it maybe? It, uh, I think it's like a acid reflux thing. Check that out. The old uh, Mrs. Mickey Joe a long time ago was working at a doctor's office and some Protonix uh, representative came in and dropped so much swag on her. We got this, we got stuffed animals. It's pretty cool. So that's the mug I'm going to use tonight. We've had this for forever. Of course, the three-in-one looks a little salt and peppery. Very nice. Let's get some hot water in there. We'll also make up that orange drink. Then we'll try our shepherd's pie. And we will eat a peanut butter ketchup sandwich. Classic Canadian comfort food, apparently. Peanut butter and ketchup. The ratio is going to be off a little bit because one of the ketchups was wonky. But uh, guys, yeah, if you've had that before, if you're Canadian, you know, like CT, Smitty, way on in here. Peanut butter and ketchup, that's traditional, right? Okay, so let's do the orange drink. Oh, shit, I didn't get a glass. I got, I got water. It's pretty good for me, you guys. I got water, but I didn't get a glass. Here's a glass. Canadian orange drink. We've had this a bunch. Wow, did you see the cloud? That was awesome. We've had this a bunch, you guys. It's always very good. It's on the Tang side of things, not the Powerade side of things. Here we go. I want to try that spice cake, but I want to sort of get everything out first. All right. Okay. Mmm, yes. The orange drink. Let's check out the shepherd's pie, guys. Ooh, oh, that's so hard to do. Bros, that's so hard to do with my hand. Oh, shit. Come on. All right. That's why I have a box cutter, everybody. Here we go. Yeah, well, there's the stuff part. Let's see if there's uh, some mashed potatoes in here. Oh, weird. Okay, so it's got chunks of potatoes. And just corn, apparently. That is not what I was expecting. Now, there is a few reviews of this on YouTube. And I could have watched them. I could have. But I didn't really do my homework. I, I you know, I know Orlando did one. Dave's 45 Auto. G. Schultz, I believe. Guys, that's... That's ground beef, taters, and corn. That's what that is. Well, it smells pretty good. Let's give it a shot. Okay, that is not at all American or Irish or any sort of shepherd's pie. Hmm. This good. I was just thinking, I was like, how are you going to like keep the mashed potatoes sort of like if you're doing it in one package? Because everybody knows... Shepherd's pie is like this stuff, you know, meat, gravy, veggies, like a layer of it, mashed potatoes on top, sometimes cheese, sometimes you just sort of like try to get peaks on your mashed potatoes, and then you bake the whole thing, and the mashies get all like, if you got the peaks on them, they get brown and crispy, and oh god, it's good. But it's also very good with cheese melted on top as well, but uh, yeah, usually doesn't have potatoes in it. This is weird. <sighs> all right, this is weird, but I'm doing it for all you Canadians out there. We're going to have a peanut butter and ketchup sandwich, eh? Yes, indeed. This one's a little smashed, but these things open up usually really easy. There we go, for the most part. God, it smells good. 
really aggy. I wish, man, I wish the uh, jalapeno beef patty came with that particular hamburger bun. All right, you guys, the ratio is going to be off. So I, I guess I'll just do one pack of peanut butter and the one pack of ketchup. This is weird. Canadians, oh my God. I knew about the maple syrup and the uh, Tim Hortons and the hockey. This whole peanut butter and ketchup business is weird, guys. Okay. All right. I can't believe, seriously, it's weird. Smitty, Smitty. This is weird. If you guys ate this growing up. This pack sort of feels better than the other one. It is a little puffy. Well, let's give it a shot, you guys. All right. Oh, that hurts my hand. Okay. All right. Here we go. Did you actually think I was going to do this, you guys? Seriously? The ketchup is for the shepherd's pie. Give me a friggin' break. Come on. I had you go in there for a second, though, didn't I? Whew. There we go. That actually... I don't think there was any salt and pepper, nor was there any hot sauce in here. A lot of times, IMPs come with Frank's Red Hot, really for no reason. Guys, we're just going to have a peanut butter sandwich. That's just fine. Did it? Did I have you going? Leave me a note in the comments if I had you going, you guys. Woohoo! I had that planned from the start. Hmm. Okay. It's a peanut butter sandwich. Actually, I am going to put this other peanut butter on here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Suckers. I totally had you guys, huh? Totally had you. All right. That's plenty. That looks good. That looks good. We'll make it less dry, but it will also make it wicked pasty in me mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. All right. We got to wash that down. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I think I had you guys, huh? Traditional Canadian comfort food. Are you shitting me? Here we go. We put the ketchup on our shepherd's pie. This ought to be pretty good, though, with the corn and the taters and beef. Yeah, that is pretty good, actually. Kind of wish the uh, the other ketchup held up. Because that little bit of tomato, a little sweetness, a little vinegar in there, that actually helped the whole dish quite a bit. Mmm. Guys, that's not bad. Shepherd's pie. I was sort of, I, I wasn't really expecting much, and honestly, when I first saw it out of the package, I was like, yeah, that's definitely not the much I was expecting. Um, let's try our three-in-one. That's pretty good, though. Mmm. I love that Nestle three-in-one. I really do. I'm going to get in on this spice cake. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's kind of like carrot cake. Kind of like my dad's applesauce cake. Mm. It does smell chocolatey, which is weird. Mm. 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 That's moist. That's dense. That's got a lot of flavors going on. Some of them, yeah, that's got a lot of like sort of competing flavors going on. Um, it's not overly sweet. It is not spicy, um, but it's definitely like, it's got the same, it does the same sort of thing to your mouth like ginger snaps do. Or, uh, yeah, probably ginger snaps, I guess. It's a little bit carrot cakey. 
Mmm. Mm-hmm. Holy crap. Let's do this. Mmm. Hmm. Wow, sorry. Sorry about all the chewing. It's very dense. It's kind of got like a holiday fruitcake sort of thing going on. Wow, that's complex. This, you guys, a spice cake in an IMP. I've had a bunch of IMPs, and I've never had one of those. That's fantastic. I love it. Um, I'm going to get back on this, this main here. I really wish this came with Frank's Red Hot, honestly. This is almost just like dorm food. You could almost put this together for like, just out of canned ingredients, you know what I mean? Pretty good though. Okay, let me, let me rephrase that. It is pretty good. For what it is it's not at all what I was expecting and really the ketchup helped make it good and that's uh, if you can't stand alone without ketchup I don't know how good you are to begin with it's just weird this isn't shepherd's pie that's not shepherd's pie it's almost like hamburger helper with just like potato cubes instead of a uh, pasta but that's what was in here. So that's what we're eating. Let's try this Mars bar. What do we got? Nougat and peanuts? It's been forever since I've eaten a Mars bar. It's this wicked bloom. Look at that. It's like a bloom explosion down the side. Whoa. That's Gnarlsberg. We're still going to eat some. Let's not forget, guys. This is a 2015, so this ration is four years old. That's why the candy bar looks the way it does. But honestly, this whole business is very good. It's hearty. Well, okay. I don't want to say it's very good. The only thing that's stopping me from saying it's very good is just the terminology that we use here, guys. Let's face it. If you, like, Google Shepherd's Pie. If you've never fucking heard of it, Google Shepherd's Pie. Those pictures, that's not what this is, right? That's not what this is. Shepherd's Pie's got potatoes on top. This has potatoes in it. It's a whole different thing. And also, it's just got corn. I was really expecting, if anything, if it to just have one veggie, it would be carrots. But, uh... I mean, it is what it is. It's okay. The ketchup helps. It's pretty much just ground beef. It's 90% ground beef. But, it is filling. I'm going to eat it. This peanut butter sandwich is alright. Makes my mouth a little chapped up. The spice cake's freaking awesome though. Got my Nestle 3-in-1 in my Protonics mug. Look at that guy. Look at that little fella. And he turns into this guy. How does that work? Oh, yeah. Too much peanut butter in my mouth at once. Sorry. And some of this. Guys, thank you for watching. Um, like I was saying, I don't know if I'm going to be back next week. I've yet to determine that. Uh, if I'm not, I'll probably be back in two weeks. And, uh, I hope everybody has a great life until then. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. Have a good one.